All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to this NBA 2K23 My Career. We're going up against my favorite team, the Miami Heat, and I finally have influence in my rotation, so we finally have a center in the lineup in Sengun. So hopefully we can do a lot better. The Miami Heat have uh, Thaddeus Young now, as he just lets me go right to the basket for the dunk. So yeah, that's actually an amazing pickup for them. I wish they'd do that in real life, but I don't think it's possible. Um, but yeah, we are going up against Miami Heat in this episode. Rocking the throwback unis. I can change my uniforms now. Going up against Jimmy Butler. We all know how good he is. Um, a few things that has happened. I now have a shoe deal. Um, I am signed with New Balance. And the way shoe deals work uh, in this year's game is... Um, you sign them for a certain amount of games. Like, I have a shoe deal for 16 games. I'm going to take that falling fadeaway three. And that doesn't. that was a green release 2K. But you have a shoe deal for a certain amount of games, and you're allowed to change your shoe, uh, your brand, I guess, after those games if you meet the requirements uh, necessary to sign with another brand. So for now, I am with New Balance. Uh, do I plan on sticking with them? Most likely. Um, but Jimmy Butler is going to miss. But for now, that is my brand. I'm also signed with uh, Mountain Dew and a few other brands I'm signed with. But that is what is going on. That is what you've missed. I am currently... Oh, you should have shot that, Jalen. I'm currently doing the uh, Jake Hole uh, storyline as Jabari Smith is going to go up for the dunk. Currently on the Jake Cole storyline, I already finished the music. Not the music. The business and the clothing district. Those are the two least, um, whatchamacallit, least interesting ones. I really don't care about them. I haven't recorded the Jake Cole one because I just want to get these stupid quests out of the way. I, want, I basically want to play basketball. So all I want to do is play basketball. That is Young in the paint. He's going to bully me. But yeah, that, that is basically what you've missed. Trying to get that J. Cole one done. And I'm trying to get this main story uh, finished. I think the final is playing at Hammond um, Park against Shep Owens. And that will be the end, I guess, of the story, I'm assuming. As Javari Smith is going to get another bucket. Yeah, that's what I'm striving for. But we're going to get Miami Heat. We're currently the four seed in the Western Conference. I'm averaging 30 points a game. And I'm now getting 38 minutes a game. Oh, yeah, and I'm also able to influence trades and free agency. So I already have a center I'm looking to go after as Sengun gets that rebound. And if we don't get him and Sengun plays well, we, we might we might be looking at a small forward because those are the two big positions of needs. A small forward and center as I'm going to let it rain from downtown. We are absolutely dominating. The Miami Heat right now, I just got a flashy pass assist to Jalen Green. And the Heat have no answer for this Rockets offense. Only putting up six points. We are on a huge run. Jimmy Butler trying to change that run in the power forward position. I get stuck to him, but Gabe Vincent does not take advantage. Going to the rim, and I'm going to get the steal. Jabari Smith Jr., you have the mismatch with Jimmy Butler on you. And he bullies him in the paint. 15 point lead for the Houston Rockets, 6 to 21, absolutely dominating the reigning one seed in the Eastern Conference as Oladipo is going to take a fading shot. It's off. Sengun has been playing amazing this game in his first start. Well deserved. We're going to call for a screen here and see what he can do. Send him the ball. He's got Bam out of bio on him, but he pulls, pulls, he draws the foul. And I am going to get subbed out here up by 16. Let's see if the bench can do their thing. It is a little bit better now. We're up by 15. It is better now that I actually have the rotation. We're not running a 12-man rotation anymore. We are running a proper 10-man. Running Kevin Porter Jr., Josh Christopher, Eric Gordon, Tari Eason, and Marquise Chris as our bench lineup because we really don't have any other center. Um, but yeah, I mean, really, really solid squad. And this Houston Rockets team once our rotations are all set. Currently have team takeover here. Not the greatest. Actually, no, we have a solid squad. It's just Sengun that's out of the game. And I'm going to try and create space from downtown. It's good. Gerald Johnson, 4-3, extends the lead to 14. Stepping on the throats of the Miami Heat. What a lead. What a start for the Houston Rockets and Gerald Johnson. Max Drews now with the ball. Jalen Green on him. He's going to lose him for a second. Going to kick it out to Thaddeus Young. Jabari Smith on him. Kicks it back out to Caleb Martin. Back to Kyle Lowry. The ball movement a bit too much here. 
and they are not going to score a lot of ball movement there. And they're going to give Kenyon Martin too much space. Knocks it down. 17-point lead for the Rockets. Made five more three-pointers than the Miami Heat. And, oh, Kyle Lowry gets Gerald Johnson jumping there. But they cannot complete the basket. And Gerald Johnson from downtown. And he's going to knock it down. 20-point lead for Houston. And we're only up by nine going into half. We had a 15-point lead. And the bench sold it. Oh, boy. The key players for the night. Kyle Lowry. Seven points and three steals. Those three steals. He's having himself a night, bro. I did not know he was playing that well. Seven points, four assists. They're only shooting 40% from the field. But, all right, Kyle Lowry. I see you. Start of the third quarter. The Heat have brought it to nine. Let's see what can be done. Jimmy Butler with the ball in the post on Kenya Martin Jr. And he's going to bully him and get the end one to cut it to six. And he does just that, cutting the lead to six, which was once 20. The Miami Heat are storming back in this game. Rory Smith set the screen for Gerald. That was a terrible shot, but he gets fouled. And with this free throw, we're going to extend the lead back to double digits. 10-point lead for the Houston Rockets. We cannot go down as a team that blew a 20-point lead. All right? We cannot do that. Kyle Lowry's going to bully his way to the paint. And I'm a foul. And he gets the and one. On top of it. That doesn't help. That, I thought that was good defense, too. He's going to knock that 8%. He's going to knock down the free throw, too. Seven-point lead. I'd like a three here, but obviously we clearly don't need one. I want to take the smart shot here. As I'm going to kick it to Jabari Smith. He did not. The Heat are just playing great defense to come out of this uh, half. As Sangoon is the only player open. Kenyon Martin has some space and he greets it. Kenyon Martin Jr. from downtown giving us a 10 point lead once again. Lowry up the court with the ball. What can he do? He's going to get. I'm stealing the ball. Kenya Martin Jr. cut to the paint, and he's going to throw it down. Back up by 12, taking, I guess, the, the, we've had the lead. Taking the driver's seat in this game. Kyle Lowry, after a costly turnover, gives it up to Victor Oladipo. Back to the man, Jimmy Butler, in the paint, and he's going to get it to go. Jimmy Butler, 13 points in this game on 50% shooting. Absolutely dominating. As I'm going to get the screen and I'm going to miss that three. Ten point lead, five minutes left in the third. Colorado just knocked down a crucial three pointer. Barry Smith comes set me the screen. And I guess, yeah, I can dish it off to you and that should be an easy layup for you. Jabari Smith Jr. in the paint. Still up by double digits. We cannot, we cannot let up this lead. Lowry, 15.6 or 7. He's been absolutely dominating. I've been playing awful defense on him. Come sent me the screen. I'm going right to the paint. Omir Yurtsevin hits the ground. What was that? I didn't even do a dribble move. He just flopped. My goodness. That was embarrassing. We're up by 12. I, he, he just fell. He, he got sniped. There's a sniper in the stands. My goodness. Omir Yurtsevin embarrassing himself on prime time Kyle Lowry just embarrassed me with that inside out move gave Vincent from downtown cuts it to nine and the he have team takeover I was oh uh, yeah yeah this is not good I was gonna kick it out Jabari Smith's got Kayla Martin on him bro that's such a mismatch I'm gonna throw up the lob Jabari's and one I will take that over the lob the he have shot 85 percent in this third quarter bro there's not much we can do about that. I mean, we're, we're doing as much as I can as I'm going to knock down a three, bring it back to ten. They have not been able to break the double-digit deficit enough. We always get it right back as Gabe Vincent dribbling into the defender. Caleb Martin on the corner. Vincent back on the wing. They lose their team takeover. Vincent on 
Kevin Porter Jr. is going to get into the paint. He's going to miss, but Omer Yurtsevin back to Caleb Martin for three. It's off. Omer Yurtsevin again. Back to back offensive rebounds for Omer Yurtsevin. Back to an eight point lead. Back and forth we go. And I'm going to kick it out to a turnover. Max Struess down court. Is he going to take the shot? No, he's not. I thought he was going to. Gabe Vincent now. He, he had some space there. Decided not to take it. Kyle Lowry had some space with that screen. He's really the main offensive guy on the court. And he throws it right in front right to Caleb Martin's face. Four seconds left on the clock. Three seconds. Kyle Lowry gets right by me somehow. And he greens it. Oh, K Jabari Smith with the steal. Up to Gerald Johnson. Once again. Up by 10 are the Houston Rockets. Gerald Johnson taking flight. In this game, 28 points for him. Jabari Smith right behind him with 22. Gets a huge steal and a dime. Kyle Lowry, who's been lights out this game, is going to miss for once. Very rare to see that. And Gerald Johnson right to the rack. Does not get fouled and misses the shot. Definitely a missed call there. I think that's not a bad shot selection, bro. I was trying to draw a foul 2K. Picks it up to Kyle Lowry for the last shot of the half. And I am going to get a great shot contest. Air balls up by 10 going into the fourth, and I'm most likely going to be benched. And we have just blown the doors wide open on this lead up by 17 with two minutes left. And Kenyon Martin Jr. was the story of this fourth quarter. He has 24 points in the game, 10 points in the quarter. I have 17 assists, which is not my career high. I'm pretty sure I've gotten 20 in a game. As Sangoon, that was good defense. I don't care. A uh, huge lead. I think now you could uh, bench the starters here, not going to lie. Uh, and they're not going to do that. And just like that, we are going to defeat the former number one seed Miami Heat in this battle. Possible finals matchup maybe as Jalen Green is going to finish it off with a reverse dunk. 104-116 is the final score. We are going to get a huge win over the dominant Miami Heat. Final box score for the Houston Rockets. 35 points, 19 assists for Gerald Johnson, 11 for 17 and 4 for 9 from downtown. Getting a lot better shooting-wise, as you can see from my season stats, 50% from the field now. I was shooting like 35% a few games. I did, I, was that a few games ago? A few episodes ago, I definitely was shooting 50%. 36% from 3, I was shooting like 17. That was bad. Really bad. Jamari Smith, 26 points, 10 for 12. He's having an amazing season. Kenyon Martin Jr. in his first start, 24 points, hit 4 threes. What a game for him in his first start in the lineup. I'm hoping for more from him. Jalen Green only took five shots, seven points. Sangoon, amazing debut, six points, ten rebounds. Much needed rebounds, too. Two steals, two blocks. And other than that, that's it for us. Uh, Miami Heat, Jimmy Butler, good game, 23 points. Bam, 22. And Lowry was probably the most impressive with 29 and three steals. But not much else. Else? Not much help anywhere else. They also were without uh, Tyler Hero. So, that, I mean, that that hurts them a lot. As you can see, they turned it up in that second half. But anyways, that's going to be for me. Leave a like, guys, enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG's.